you on the station right away. Get me, oh. get me Tony McEwing. I, I, so he needs so my so help. Were really, so were you really holding it against me because I didn't show up yesterday? You sounded oh, yeah. like pretty bitter, Kempton, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we have to work that bitterness. I, actually, in. Tony, I was grateful. It was like I saw that message. I was like, cool. Like I, I can sleep for another 90 minutes. Awesome. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. exactly. Really? <laughs> After what Tony put us in last Friday? Ask no, each no. Of one. I, I am gonna Are say gonna this. Join? It's like it's like after this, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven people here. I don't want to hear anything else for the rest of time about that first hangout that you opened up up and, and like three people showed up. I don't want to hear right. anything yeah, no. else ever. <laughs> you lost your privilege. Oh, no, no, no. Watch this. Watch this. I was still you. laying in bed. I was still laying in bed and I had my tablet with me. And I and it's like and I and I got the notification. Tony McEwing has invited you to a hangout. I dragged my ass out of bed, <laughs> hurried up and, and joined the hangout. It's like I still wasn't even dressed yet. I went oh and made God. some coffee, right, got right. dressed, and came out. So I don't want to hear another word. <laughs> and, here, and here's the thing. Here's the thing. This is hilarious. Here's the thing. Uh, first of all, because I was I was explaining uh, before some of you before Kyle came in. Kyle, good to see you. Trev, good to see you back. Uh, before uh, and mm -hmm. before you came in, Deanna, I was explaining how the perfect storm had uh, had formed to keep this from happening. Because not Today. only because not only is Maria not here, but Tashaka isn't here. So you know I was panicking at that point. Wait, where is he? I don't know. He's just oh. not. He's just not here today. Hmm. So I, so I ended up, so some of you saw the SOS I sent out for, help me, you know, I don't know how to get this thing going. Yeah. Now that you know, you're never going to be allowed to make that excuse. Well, I can't make that excuse. <laughs> but now you know how to do it. I mean, it's the more important thing. You know, right? It's not rocket science. Well, and, well, and I, know so, how to get, I know how to get you guys invited, because everyone got an invitation, right? I'm assuming everyone got an invitation. Yeah. Yeah, I see invite. Yeah. yeah just, no words I, I or friends today, night, Tony. Tony. Yeah, yeah. No uh, words or friends today, Tony. I, do a hit. I'll be back. Okay. All right. All right. Go for it. So, so, so that was so I was like completely in panic city, you know, when I when I sent out that that SOS because I didn't really know that I was going to actually be able to, to get it done. But it really isn't that difficult. But as I was telling uh, some of you before others of you joined the hangout, I, I'm I'm broadcasting this on my own YouTube channel. This is not yep. being broadcast on Fox 11's YouTube channel. I think uh, it is. I don't no, no, I, no. It's on Tony's channel because Tony opened oh, it. Oh, Tony's channel. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, so I don't know. How, I don't know why. I, I I didn't see anything that would have allowed me to broadcast it on on Fox 11's no, channel. No, you need to you need to log in with the Fox account. Oh, no, is that true. what it is? And see, I don't think yeah. anyone. I don't think anyone. Ca uh, Trev has given me that uh, authority. Yeah, I think it's just uh, it's just Maria and Tashaka. I, yeah, I don't think they want the other big black man. You can't have, <laughs> have the authority. You can't have too many black people like accessing that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like uh, chaos will uh, sure, yeah. But but you know, you know, it will still be good enough for us. Yesterday, <laughs> we would find you uh, and join your hangout, but you didn't oh, start so one. You did not so start one, Tony. So since I can no longer. Um, uh, claim trauma as, as uh, Gallo has done. Yeah, you can't. You I can no longer claim that I'm traumatized by the fact that no one showed up for the first hangout. But I, I, especially now since this is the first one I've actually done completely on my own. I mean, the last one that I tried to do, Tashaka, was here to help me. Mm -hmm. So this is the first time I've actually done it on my own. I mean, I just fiddled around until I figured yeah, it out. Tony, yeah, Tony, and I'm finding us late thanks to you. Who said that? Me. Renzo. <laughs> what did you say, Renzo? <laughs> hold on, hold on. I'm going to click him full screen because I want to <laughs> hear exactly what the brother has to say. Hold on. Okay, I'm sorry, Renzo. Can you repeat, please? <laughs> KBZ. <laughs> KBZ, <laughs> man. <laughs> <laughs> um, I kept on making sure she was going to be able to make it after she saw my SOS. So I knew certain people were going to show up today. I knew, I knew that Joe was going to show up because he saw the SOS. He responded. I knew Kyle was going to show up because Kyle saw my SOS. I knew that uh, Diana was going to show up because I think you sent something out, Diana. Renzo, uh -huh. I think Renzo said uh, something along the lines of, I don't know, it was in Spanish, but it didn't sound good. <laughs> it, didn't, it didn't sound like it was a compliment. <laughs> <laughs> 
And Kempton, I wasn't sure because Kempton kept sending me like nasty notes all night long. So I wasn't real sure. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, it's nonstop. <laughs> so Three o'clock in the morning. Uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. I wasn't sure if Kempton was going to show up at all because he yeah. kept sending nasty notes out. Well, so. you said today you're going to start one. So I, I replied and then I said, I'm coming. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, hey, Kim. Hey, Kim. You, you were able to make it at least for a few minutes. I know you said you had a lot to no. do. So I, I appreciate you. I think ev everybody's made it today, Tony. There's, there's just no way that anyone was not going <laughs> to. We had to. If we if no we didn't way, want to give no you that ability to tell and us. Can I, can How did you come in to support me? Can I say, touched? <laughs> now I'm going to go. <laughs> <laughs> Now I'm leaving. <laughs> was that was that was was that an Oscar winning performance? Did, did, if yeah, I, I think so. Yeah. 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 That, that's a drama, <laughs> dramatic type. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, I was. I was. Yeah, I thought that was a, a little convincing. Speaking of which, uh, I don't know. Again, I was telling. Uh, I don't know if we're gonna have any guests because we have. Of course, this this is the one day that Tony has to try to start a hangout on his own because Tashaka isn't here. And Maria's not here, so I had to do this all on my own. It's running on my YouTube channel, so God only knows what kinds of comments I'm going to get on there. I'll have to check it later on. <laughs> and, and then beyond that, beyond that, we have no guests really on Good Day LA. So it's just me, and occasionally a Roxy is going to drop in. Mm -hmm. uh, that should make Trev happy. Uh, and and um, <laughs> make a lot of viewers happy too. I mean, and appa just and apparently, apparently Kermit the Frog is going to be here. But, um, <gasps> that being said. I want you to get a chance to, you may have discussed among yourselves, but since I wasn't here, I really don't care. Um, <laughs> Oscars, did, does anyone have any comments about what happened? First of all, let's start with Seth MacFarlane. Does anyone have any comments about what, I mean, what did you, he's he's taking a lot of heat this morning. Yeah, a lot really? Of I thought he was funny. Mm -hmm. uh, to be honest, I don't think I fi didn't find him funny. I, I thought uh, I, I, sh I should have get the results uh, instead of okay. watching the show. All right, all right. So Jimmy, yeah. why don't we start with you since you are pro set? Uh, <laughs> why, why did you think he was good? What, what did you think was good? About? Well, well, first of all, <clears throat> I'm a, I'm a fan of Family Guy and and I saw yeah. the movie Ted and et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. So I knew so That's I knew the kind of humor he was going to bring to the show, for one. Mm -hmm. Uh, for two, I thought he did a good job as far as like um, like he like he was very he didn't seem like he was reading his lines. He, he like he, like he actually delivered his lines and stuff very very well. He um, he was he was uh, I, I, and I just thought he was funny and he sang very well. And even well, though some of the songs voice. are raunchy, he has great yeah. singing voice. So I so I think so, so I think he did well in all in all the aspects of how people usually host the show. I mean, he yeah. told his jokes and they were funny. He had a funny monologue. Um, not everybody, but not everybody would have thought they were funny. But you know, like I said, those who knew who was going to be on the show and expected him to be the way he was thought he was funny, and I thought he was funny. He um, he didn't stumble or fumble any of his lines and read. And you know, and even though it was teleprompter, it didn't seem like it. And um, you know, it. I just thought, and he, like, and he sang, and he sang very well. So okay, I mean, I, all the aspects you think that someone's going to do the Oscar performance, and he did well at. So let's go to the Seth detractor, Kempton Lamb. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I want to first of all before I uh, I give my negatives, I, I want to say the bringing the stars on stage, the dancing and uh, the the singing. I, I guess they, they were, those are pre-recorded. Those are yeah. great. Oh, and the Goldfinger. Oh, that that was awesome. Oh, she was so, amazing. Oh, yeah, Shirley, yeah, Shirley Bassey. Yeah, she, yeah. Uh, she was amazing. I mean, I thought she was the showstopper I, because first of all, I didn't because I'm thinking. God, how long has it been since she sang that song? Yeah, it's go finger. I mean, <laughs> it cannot be like two years said, ago. Like, it looks amazing, but she's got to be a hundred years old, you know, right? I'm kidding, but you know what I mean. Um, yeah. Well, she's old. seventy-six. Oh even amazing at seventy-six, you know. I mean, she she did she not look amazing? She yeah. looked amazing. Yeah. And yeah. So, but, but I knew she had to be older <laughs> because I'm, we know when that movie was made, and so I thought, yeah. oh. God, you know, God bless her. God love her. Bless her heart. What, yeah. You know, Sean Connery was really hot uh, without wearing anything. <laughs> then, <laughs> All right, she, you know, Kimpton. She was amazing. She was amazing. Yeah. 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 Uh, before we continue, let me just preface that I have not watched the Oscars for this year, so I may not have you a lot to it. say. Did you, you know, did you did you even record it, Kim? Kim. Kim. Hello. Hello. See what happened? What had happened? 
What ha- ha- happened? What ha- ha- happened? I, I, no, I didn't record it. I didn't. I, I just Did wasn't just into that. Did you not have any interest in it at all? Is it because, like, because there's a very negative comment in itself, right? You didn't even watch it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, I didn't I mean, watch I it. I didn't record sort of, it. Yeah. For the first time ever, you can watch them. Watch the entire show on online. It's really interesting, Kempton. The, the 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 what you saw as a positive to the to the show is interesting because a lot of people actually criticized the show this year for having too much singing and dancing. Well, well, it depends on who's singing and dancing. I mean, the stars, uh, the Charisse Theron and Mercy dance well. But here's the the problem with me. Like, I watch the whole thing, but then half of most of the time I was on the computer glancing, and part of it I, the, of the show I fall asleep. Uh, so that that is my critique of like okay it didn't really it's not a Ricky Gervais uh, Golden Globe uh, uh, Ricky Gervais Golden Globe I, I did not like I was paying full attention to to it all the time and it was in fact more funny in uh, when he was doing any like any of the stuff then uh, I'm going well, yeah. to throw out a, a statistic I mean, this is in in by you know this by no means mm -hmm. the viewership to, right to tank your Opinion. I mean, because your opinion is your opinion, and I want to get more of your opinions on what you thought about the show. Those of you who saw it, but uh, the uh, Oscars uh, increased their ratings with with uh, Seth MacFarlane hosting by 11 percent, the highest rating since 2007, I believe, when Ellen DeGeneres, Ellen DeGeneres did, it. did it. Yeah, and uh, and brought in a lot more young people, which is what the Academy Awards, the Academy was trying to do. They wanted to bring in. More young people, but 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 you know. Well, first of all, before before I add anything else, does anyone else have anything to say about what they thought about it? Did anyone else watch the show and any, had any, have any thoughts about it? I will say that I fell in love with Jennifer Lawrence. Yeah, oh, okay. yeah, that trip, she was awesome. That trip, yeah. She no, it's awesome. like that, and, and, and the and the post Oscar, the little interview thingy. Mm, I think was like it. yeah. Was she really, uh, really frank and good in it, Diana? Yeah, when she, yeah. she got she got video bombed by Jack Nicholson, that was funny. Oh, did she? Yeah. Well, she, uh, okay, I I do know that um, the first lady did a presentation, didn't she? That, yeah. Uh, she presented Best Picture. She was yeah. the final presentation. That I don't know. So what I mean, y'all think about that? I don't I, like I that. Lot, yeah. I got conservatives first of all, and Kimpton. I know you're not really. Much I'm not conservatives, but uh, I mean, it's kind of interesting. So I'd like to hear your point of view because conservatives were upset. Yeah, of I mean that's, they that's, were. Well, they've yeah, been upset about everything. Them, that yeah, to them it's political. Do, so. To me, it's a bit cheesy, and uh, I mean, I respect her as a like, well, obviously first lady, but then at the same time, I'm uh, sure. I mean uh, the. It's probably it's most likely going to Argo and well, the State me, Department and whatnot, the CIA connection, having well, her presented. Let me ask helps, you this. Let me ask that, you this. What, because the conservatives are saying it was it was injecting politics into the Oscars. And my question is, and I'm not I'm not taking sides one way or the other, but but let me let me throw this out. It, having the first lady just because she is the wife of a Democratic president, is that necessarily injecting politics? Because doesn't the First Lady in some no. ways separate herself no. from the, politics? I, I don't see it as, as, as political at all. It's like, I mean, it's so, like, uh, people so find it very difficult to believe that people can exist outside of, you know, uh, of what they are. It's like, yes, she, yeah, she is First Lady, so it's like, yes, heavily invested in all that. But... She's she's a person. I, I I don't really get the big deal, the uproars. Like I mean, because I was talking about it with Stephanie Cruz they yesterday. Had, they had had the president present. Yeah, that's different, you know. Yeah, that would have been totally different. And she and she was on Jimmy Fallon. She was on Jimmy Fallon not too long ago too, doing the yeah, mom was, dances and stuff. She was funny. I mean, she's she's a person. She's a she's a celebrity. I, 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 no, I, I tend to separate the 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 wife. I tend to for, separate the wife. From the presidency, I don't necessarily. Mm -hmm. Well, it depends on which I, which role they're in. Okay, like, I mean, can like I a, just share my opinion, please? Sure. Yeah. Sure. Go ahead, Kim. Stop interrupting me. <laughs> you don't want to just interrupt me. <laughs> oh, no, here, here, go ahead Let's and share your Let's opinion. Go, go ahead with your view. Let's not. Thank you. Since she's been involved in all these different TV, uh, going on all these different TV talk shows, I think that was like a precursor to her doing that uh, award because she's not just the first lady she is a person outside of that first lady like Tony was saying I don't I don't think that 
they should be getting in an uproar. Now, if they're trying to type political, uh, something political to it, why? What is she running for? Yeah, yeah. I, you know, yeah. I don't, you know, I'm, I, you know, I think they, I mean, I get it. I mean, I get it. I, I, I see. I, I get it too. I mean, I'm not. I'm. I don't, I, I don't think it, yeah, it's this valid. would be the first time I de defend the conservatives, but because their point is, you know, Hollywood is liberal, and this was, you know, would they have? But you know what? What people forget is back in 1980, uh, they had Ronald Reagan on. Now, um, Ronald Reagan was a past Oscar winner. A so yeah. some people would say mm -hmm. he's a movie star, right? yeah. and he was a movie star. So some would say that that's a little different since Michelle Obama is neither a past Oscar winner or a movie star. Um, but they did have him on. However, when they had him on in 1980, they did not have him presenting anything. He was just kind of acknowledged. He was there. Uh huh. So some people say that you know, there's a difference there. I, you know, I I didn't have a problem with it uh, per yeah. se. I, Kempton, I do get your point of view is that you think it's a little. You don't. You didn't. Ha you don't object on political grounds. Yeah. No. Yeah. Like may maybe only five percent is po politics, but ninety five percent is just a little bit cheesy oh, to to have I her. I mean, knowing that Argo is most likely is going to win, but uh, I think that makes then, a political yeah. statement though, surely, doesn't it? Oh, that's interesting, Trev. Go ahead, please. Of course he does. I mean, if, 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 I mean, Michelle Obama, she's an Obama, so obviously she's, she is Team Obama, so she's on her side. So to have her on is almost to say, we endorse this party. That's, that is what it says to me. Huh. Is it not? I, I, what is I she guess running I don't understand for? that, but I, 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 I don't think that's, that's reading a lot too difficult. It's like, I mean, she's an Obama, but she's Michelle first. Mm -hmm. she, she, she's, she's a person. Mm -hmm. Uh, I, 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 like, I, I mean, like, the thing is, I've got no problem with it because I, I'm Team Obama as well. But uh, just from from the you know, I think it does make a statement. It sort of says this is where we stand. I think. But okay, you know, I'm not even American, so what, what does it matter what I think? No, no, it does matter. What you think. <laughs> it, it, it matters what you think, Trev. You, you know how much we value your opinion. No, <laughs> it doesn't. It does matter. Yeah, it does. Like what, Kevin? It's like I, I it care about what Trev thinks. Well, and, and I think, and I think that you know, again, I I I can see both sides of this. I mean, I kind of see where the conservatives are coming from. I mean, but, but their point the, is the conservatives are coming from the Obamas did something. We're gonna bitch about it. <laughs> well, okay. yeah. so she she goes to the garden, they get mad. She goes off on and vacation, they get is, mad. She goes on Jimmy Kimmel, they get mad. She puts yeah. she buys a new pair of shoes. No, 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 they get no, mad. no, no, no. That's going her, too far. Mad. That's going to the hair. Oh, that, Deanna, that Deanna, goes way too far. Okay, yeah, Captain, go minute, to the right wait, wing websites and wait, you can see for no, no, yourself. Wait a minute, uh, Diano. Don't 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 try to push me so much that I'm going to start defending the conservative because I. The last thing I want to do is defend the conservative on Fox. <laughs> it's like, look, I am not defending the the conservatives. I'm just right. making a statement. Right, right. But yeah, well, you see, know what? I mean, I can I can kind of see the other other side of that though. I can't, you know, because one could read her appearance as a tacit uh, approval of of the Obama. President. Well, look at it the other way. Imagine if, um, imagine if the president was uh, was Mitt Romney right now, and and his wife. Yeah. Had been there. What would you think? It'd still be wrong. I, I think the liberals would have been all up. Mm -hmm. I think the liberals would have been up. I think it's too much. You might not care, uh, but I, what would you think about it? About it? About the stance of the Oscars? That's a good question, though, Diana. Would I would you think the same thing. It's like I mean, the serious is like my stance on Michelle being there is I don't care. It's like it makes absolutely no difference. If, if so it's not reversed, political. Yeah, if it was Mitt Romney's wife, I still wouldn't, wouldn't care. care. But you don't care and about the show, right? So yeah. Well, no, I, ca I care about I the Oscars. I'm not interested in watching them, but it's not like that. I don't care. It's like, come on, dude. The Walking Dead was on. Did you really think I was gonna miss that for the Oscars? <laughs> <laughs> the reason why I don't think it was political. There are several movie stars that are political. They have made it plain and clear who they stand for. They have been on the show. Yes, I know they're not the president's wife, but yet they are very strong. They have a very strong political opinion. But nothing is said about them endorsing the Oscars. To me, it's the same. It's the same thing. I understand she's the wife no, no, of the not, president. It's not that way around. It's the Oscars endorsing her. That's that's the point. It's it's there. 
Because because the, the Oscars is the entertainment industry. The entertainment industry is young people. That's the thing. So it's, it's voting. It's basically saying what what to, to young people. What interests you? Uh, Okay, so like, you know, there's this, this like all celebrity worship and all that bullshit that goes on, and everyone, you know, and it's forget it. I can't get out what I'm trying to say. Go ahead. No, 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 no I think get you sense. Yeah, yeah. Right. I can't. No, I, I know well, what I'm trying to say. Either way, I got it. I've, I've given up. I've given up because I can't. I can't word it properly. <laughs> well, like, like I, well, I have to tell you, they did a spoof on Flight on the movie Flight during the monologue, and oh, I, I thought that was, and I thought that was hilarious. The hand puppets. Yes, with the sock puppets. Yeah, they're oh, sock. Yeah, they're, they're sock puppets. Bye, y'all. Oh. Yeah, later, Tim. Have to go. Bye, Tim. Darn. 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 I want to stay. Appreciate it. <laughs> um, well, you know, it's interesting. You should bring that up, Kempton, and and uh, and, and and Jimmy. Jimmy. Um, here's the thing. A lot of publications, are, and the only reason I'm, I'm speaking a little more quietly is because Lisa's over there doing her thing, but a lot of publications that came out and blasted Seth's performance said that he was misogynist, he was misogynist, he was, yeah. uh, he, was sec he was sexist, he was, he yeah. was racist, and he was anti-Semitic. Um, is this like the first time they've ever seen Seth MacFarlane or something? Yeah, <laughs> like, they hired him. And the, it's that, like, like the none of this is a does. surprise to me. It's like, I mean, come on. It's like they, they, they make it's Seth MacFarlane. I think they actually wrote those reviews before the even Oscars came out because it's like, oh, 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 Seth, oh, Seth, oh, Seth's coming on? Okay, he's anti-Semitic, he's racist. <laughs> I mean, they wrote that before he even came well, on. It's right? funny yeah. you should they say that. that. It's funny you should say that because uh, Rush Limbaugh, Everybody knows who Rush Limbaugh is, oh, right? Yeah. yeah. Rush Limbaugh actually, I guess, interviewed Seth MacFarlane uh, 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 or asked him his but uh, well, opinion well. about the reviews that were done uh, uh, right, you know, <laughs> regarding his, his performance. And he told Rush Limbaugh, well, I can at least understand how you conservatives feel after reading some of the reviews because I think a lot of them made up their minds even before I opened my mouth. Yeah. How, how how you conservatives feel about the liberal media? Because I think a lot of them made up their minds yeah. about me even before I opened my mouth. Before I said, yeah, I'm, I'm right sure now. they did. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the like, I mean, Seth MacFarlane is like you, you. You know what you're getting. It's like I mean, well, if, if anyone enough. was surprised, I mean, if the, if the Academy <laughs> hired him, if they if they wanted him to host the show, by the way, he says he would never do it again. Yeah, <laughs> I wouldn't blame him. <laughs> he did. He, he tweeted out that, you know, been there, done that, it was fun, but never again. So, um, but but interestingly enough, let, let's start with one of the things that I guess caused a lot of um, controversy was, was the song that he, he did. The boobs. Uh, <laughs> I saw your boobs. The boobs. I saw yeah. your boobs. <laughs> 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 it's, like, it's like people are fun. We have to be. We have to be. We have to be superly. None of that is any shock. It's like I mean, we, what we have to expect? be superly careful, right? Because it, we are group of it, men. Is it uniquely male humor? Because I thought it was funny, and I did not find it. Like, <laughs> and I thought it was funny at the moment. So it's uh, and, and uh, he he elicited the participation of a lot of the females that he was naming in. Yeah. In that they filmed, in that particular song, he elicited the participation. Yeah. Of they filmed the it before, yeah. before, and, before the and show. Yeah. It, right? yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, they pre-filmed it. They pre-filmed it. It was, it was funny. Yeah, they they pre-filmed it. That's exactly right. So, and 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 whether people were offended by it or not, Izzy, come over here, Izzy. We have a we have our we have our resident uh, we have our resident writer here, Izzy. You guys have never resident met boobs anybody. expert, Izzy Mariano, who is Hello, Phil Izzy. Filipino. Hey, Izzy. Uh, a resident Filipino writer. I call him Quarter Bro, and and the reason I call him Quarter Bro, he's only allowed to raise his fist this high. But the, reason <laughs> call, the reason I call Izzy Quarter Bro is because his grandmother is black. You would never know that by looking at Izzy. Oh. I mean, darker than me. Jimmy, more like maybe darker than you. Wow. Um, I mean, his, so his grandmother. So I call him Quarter Bro. Uh, <laughs> What's up, Izzy? Welcome to Hi, Izzy. Um, so he was looking over here as we were discussing the the I saw your boobs. I saw your boobs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm just curious. I mean, what do you think about it, Izzy? I, I mean, we're all still laughing. I still am a fan of Family Guy. So that's exactly what you got was a, it's a, a snippet of a Family Guy episode. <laughs> Thank you. 
yeah. this week. You know, uh, show tunes, um, you know, uh, off wall comedy. I mean, the other thing that was generating headlines is the, uh, you know, the only actor to get into Lincoln's head was John Wilkes Booth. Yeah, was, that uh, that, oh, was, that was that was yeah, that was pretty. <laughs> 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 That's something uh, 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 that was that was oh, bad. Yeah. It's, it's like it's like my whole thing is this is like everyone is, is getting all mad at Seth MacFarlane and whatnot. He is like, is this the first people are hearing about Seth MacFarlane or something? Was like the second I heard Seth MacFarlane is hosting the Oscars, I knew what to expect. So yeah. did every other human being on the planet who knows Seth MacFarlane's comedy. But so the, like, the that's the key. But so the who knows? Yeah, yeah, but but, but Deanna, think about it. Everybody, yeah. come on! It's not like he's hidden. He's he not obscure. A, he had an episode of Family Guy where he actually sang a song called "Prom Night Dumpster Baby." Like he sang a song called "Prom Night Dumpster Babies," and he had babies <laughs> he had babies twirling around their umbilical cords, dancing and singing to this song. I mean, that's you know. <laughs> Yeah, he had, a song, he had a song about getting AIDS on the show. I yeah, mean, that, that's Seth MacFarlane. Yeah. right. So, so let me speak on the female sex because I, I'm trying to score some points with the female viewers out there. So, <laughs> so those are. I mean, Diano made the point that for anyone who knows Seth MacFarlane, they should know exactly what they get, right? But my flip, the flip side of that is for the majority or the a good chunk of people I won't say majority because I don't want to quantify it for a lot of people who don't know Seth or have not really seen Seth in death they have no clue but when they well, see they that now. then they judge it from from what is being done on Oscar right and well, from well, that perspective it's their right to feel offended I, I well, think. And, and, and this, it's interesting you should bring up that point mm -hmm. keep in mind that the Oscars are not just something that's broadcast in the United States which, which, right. which which I think you might be able to to defend him a lot more since I can't imagine too many people here in, in the US not knowing who Seth MacFarlane is or mm -hmm. what he's about. Keep in mind this was broadcast worldwide. You had two billion people basically watching this. Yeah. Um, right, the Mus Muslim country and uh, the other country. And again, I, I think we missed the point here. First of all, we are all male here, so it's kind of uh, skewing it. But I think it's valid to bring out it's never for who the, the the majority or the people who are making fun to judge the result of the people who are being made fun of. So it's just like black and Chinese and other things. And in this case, the boots, the, the ladies, sure, the, 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 the stars are in on the jokes. So that is a good a, a plus on Seth. But then, forget, uh, but then if we look at the women who did not invite the boobs to be joked at, they well, they they are in <laughs> for the boobs. Well, but also keep in mind, Seth MacFarlane was an equal opportunity offender. He mm -hmm. well, yeah. hit everybody. I don't think there yeah, was yeah. anybody. Yeah. Oh yeah. That, uh, uh, that escaped that. His, his humor. Do you think? No. I mean, he no, hit no. blacks. He 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 did the yeah, whole. Yeah. Thing. Did, did you guys hear the Don Cheadle joke? I'll tell it. I don't he, think he, I can no. Don't no, tell it. I didn't hear it yet. He really got it. I won't do it as well. You guys all know who Don Cheadle is. I won't. I won't right. do it as well as as he yeah. did. But mm -hmm. basically, he he was talking about how Daniel Day Lewis. He had heard how Daniel Day Daniel Day Lewis was seven <laughs> in his role as Lincoln, and that once he actually started to play the character, he never stepped out of character because he really wanted to be inside the head of Lincoln. Which, by the way, is when that whole joke came up about the only other actor who was able to get inside of Lincoln's head was John Wilkes Booth. Um, but, but during the course of that whole rant, one of the things he said, he said, well, I want to know, Daniel Day-Lewis, just how in character did you stay? I mean, honestly, I mean, if you, if you ran across Don Cheadle on the lot, did you try to free him? Uh, okay, this I don't get. Like, uh, <laughs> I need the joke to explain. <laughs> I'm going to play the Chinese card. <laughs> <laughs> Don Cheadle's black. Lincoln yeah. freed the slaves. Oh. <laughs> I get it. There you go. That is fantastic. All right, all right, got it. Now, now, now I gotta tell you, some people were offended by that. I wasn't. I wasn't. Too. Yeah, it was Don Cheadle. Yeah. Hey, look at this. I, I just I just got a picture uh, yeah, on my Facebook page. Is, uh, the black by, actor. By you know, he, Don Cheadle, you know the uh, you know. The, for best animated feature, they uh, they nominated or they uh, they got uh, Paper Man got the Oscar. I got a picture of my friend holding the Oscar for Paper Man. That's my that's my friend John Wico. He actually worked. Yeah, he, yeah, he, yeah, he, that's the real one. He he worked on Paper oh, Man. He worked, it, he, worked on, 
he worked on Brave. He worked on. Um, he worked on. He's, oh, he's yeah, on his, yeah. He was with Disney Animation Studios, the one on oh. the, the one on this side, right here. Oh, That's my friend John. John, huh? Yeah. He oh, that's, that's, that's very cool. Yeah, that's that actually is, pretty cool. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's awesome. Well, so I wasn't... Okay, Diano, as a black man, Jimmy, as a black man, you heard me tell the joke. Were you offended? Uh, oh, no. no. I, I, I thought it was funny both times. <laughs> I was like, I was like this, this is the first time I'm hearing it. It's like, I, th- I thought that was pretty damn well, you funny. you laughed. You certainly laughed. <laughs> you yeah. didn't seem to it's be like, offended. I mean, it's like, people have to learn. It's like, I mean, I think it's, it's a continuing problem in this country that. Okay, that people now, are me... entirely too thin-skinned and they need to learn... How to, how to make fun of themselves and how to laugh at themselves. You can't get offended about every damn thing someone says mm-hmm. that you don't like. That well, doesn't make any ask, sense. Let me ask the other color people, even though uh, <laughs> Trev is... I kind of think of Trev and Joe is, and, and Kip did as honorary blacks, but that being said... The first time oh, I saw yeah, Trev, I thought he was black. <laughs> I swear to God, I thought Trev was black the first time I, I, you know, I, I thought he, I thought he might have been a cross between black and Latino. I really did. I honestly did. But okay, that being said... Uh, probably, I'm, I'm, and there probably is a little something, something going on in his background that he may not be telling us about. But that being said, too, uh, <laughs> Trev, uh, what do you think? I mean, you heard me tell the Don Cheadle joke. I don't. You didn't. Uh, you I'd, I'd have cringed, but but, but because really? I'm not really? black, really, really, because I'm not black though. That's the thing. I'd have cringed a little bit thinking is that. But it, it's. I'd, st- I'd find it funny. I mean, this. I mean, there are there are far worse jokes. Uh, I mean, that's. That it, it is quite funny, but it's a fact of basically calling Don Cheadle a slave. And, it, and it's, do you know what I mean? That's the that's the problem, and, it, and it's, yeah, it's still funny, but it, it does make me yeah, cringe. Yeah, it's funny. I'm, I'm yeah. interesting. Kimpton, what did you think? I I I think it's funny, and uh, I I bet uh, Don Don probably thinks it's funny too. But uh, I would I would I, love I, to have seen I would love to have seen his face because a lot of times when when he would say things, you would they would they the camera would you know go yeah. to the face of the person who was the the, the brunt of the joke, but. I don't know if Don was even there because they didn't show him. But right, yeah, right. I, don't know, I don't know what yeah. Don. I, I heard, well, let me put it this way: Don hasn't said anything. Mm-hmm. Don Cheadle ain't got no no sense. It's like it's like if he heard that joke, he probably laughed his ass off. Yeah, he probably did seriously. Yeah. Well, and if you saw, he hasn't said anything, if you've, seen, if you've seen his series, which is, I mean, uh, House, House of Lies, yeah, House of Lies, right. Um, uh, right. I mean, so I can Joe. What do you think? I didn't, I didn't think I don't think he took offense to it, and I don't think he was really no. calling him a slave. It was just no. he was referring to the character. So I think people take it too seriously. Sure, but it's yeah, I don't know, but it's it's all it's, it's sort of it's the cost of the thing. Just just referring to the character. Yeah, of course you are. It's like, it's like, like, it's like, it's like you notice know, how you're having to add implications to it in order to find something to be offended about. I'm not like, I'm, well, no, 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 no. I, I'm not saying that you're offended, but it's like you're you're adding thing. You're kind of adding adding implication there that honestly wasn't there. It's like, and I, and I feel it's like, I mean, that's not a bad thing, but I feel that that a lot of people do that for a lot of jokes. It's like, I mean, seriously, yeah. I think it's a major problem that we that that the United States in general, I think, is getting too thin skinned. Mm-hmm. You have people getting offended over everything, and it's ridiculous. Oh, yeah, that's the world over it's, that. It's kind of interesting you should say that. I'm going to go off on an aside here for just a second, just for a second, and then we'll come back to this, because I still have more I want to discuss, particularly uh, when you had a lot of Jewish groups, the, including the anti, uh, Anti-Defamation League, who was really upset with stuff that he said. I'll get back to that. But interestingly enough, what do you think about this? We just found out from the Census Bureau that it is no longer, uh, how long has it taken now, half a century? That it is no longer going to use the word when it sends out its census forms, Negro. Negro. Oh, oh really? Yeah. Really? It's, it's so gonna use, what are you going to use? It's going to use black or African American, but it's not going to use Negro anymore. Uh, they, they, yeah. That's okay. I have no comment. I'm is it because the word is that has negative connotation, or like I mean, I guess I don't know enough uh, about the word they, origin they, and whatnot they, for they this change. Re- they did research, and the research showed that a lot of African Americans or or blacks just felt it was outdated. Mm-hmm. Uh, right. And, and and there was a large apparently there was a large number of of, of blacks who felt it was not only outdated but offensive. Mm. Well, well, well the word, well, the word, the word changes every couple of years. Like, yeah. like what, what, you know, what they want, to, you know, what we want to be called or whatever. So it's, it, it's going to rotate back around anyway. Exactly. The thing is, I wouldn't, I wouldn't call. But I, I, I'm not even going to say it now. Do you know what I mean? I, I can't. I don't, I don't because it's too negative I for you. Call one of my black friends, and, and, and 
that were. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it says a lot uh, by your reluctance. That's that's interesting. No, I mean, honestly, yeah. that, that's very interesting. That yeah. is. What well, that word doesn't ro won't roll off my tongue for sure. Yeah, that's the thing. I mean, I can say it, but it it's it, yeah. it, 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 that feel. You know, it feels it's like, it's like yeah, it, for it's me, it's odd. different. It's like when it comes to words. It's like for me, words have no meaning outside of their context. So it's like I mean, I I don't get offended by a word, any word, or, or even, even even the n word. I don't outside, really care. Or outside of the outside of the power you give the word. Exactly. And like people give, people give words power, not the other way around. The word is meaningless to me. It's, it's like Negro, yeah. Black, African American. Actually, out of those three, the one that I like being called the least is African American. <laughs> I've never been to Africa, dude. I'm from Detroit. I'm black. And it's very, <laughs> American. And, and I'm from Barbados and I'm Puerto Rican, so you know. The term African American is very interesting in and of itself because it yeah. it, it is probably the least descriptive yeah. term. For black people that you can find, yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's black, like, is, black is probably much more encompassing. Uh, uh, Negro, yeah. But uh, it's the political correctness I mean, and I, I, not African -American, American. It's like I mean, if you well, want to get technical, it's like my family held, my family several generations back are from Haiti. If anything, I'm that's exactly American. right. That's right. exactly right. That's the mm. point I'm making. If you have Haitian Americans here, mm. a lot you can't call them African Americans. Can you? Yeah. I mean, they're not. They're not. Well, they're not well, yeah, I'll be right back. As far as, far as England, right. England, I think I think most black people in England sort of originally hail from uh, the Caribbean. I think, like Jamaican yeah, 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 or Africa. Yeah. Or Africa. It, I mean, well, I don't know. I don't know too many Africans. Um, well, when I went there, there was. Oh, when I went, oh, yeah. When I went there, a lot of the black people were African, like all in, in London and. Uh, and when and I all went to the, France, yeah, a lot of them were from Africa. But, yeah, same here. When I went to France too. Well, yeah. in in London, I mean, everyone's from everywhere in London, but but up here, um, like people who I know, I mean, I think they're all sort of. Well, Tony, look at it. Know. But look at it this way. Well, look at it this way. If you really want to break it down and be technical about it, none of us are really black either. You're brown. I'm a darker brown. I mean, well, we're all brown. Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, so I mean, you know, but, I mean, but so, if you want to get technical, you know, uh, Jimmy, uh, Trev isn't white, mm, and, no. and Tim isn't yellow. Right. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I yeah, well, we don't call him a yellow American, though. You know. <laughs> yeah. White American. Yeah. And Joe, what are you? I don't know what you're kind of Heinz Fifty Seven, aren't you? What are you? Uh, yeah, Cuban and Puerto Rican. You're Cuban and Puerto Rican. So he's Latino for the most part. So you're white American. Yeah. Huh? White American. No, <laughs> I'm sorry, Joe. The Cuban and Puerto Rican, Cuban plus Puerto Rican does, does not white American make. What? No. <laughs> what do you uh -huh. <laughs> uh, and I didn't know you had. I didn't know you. I didn't know Joe. You had a little bit of brother mixed up there in yeah, you. I didn't know that. <laughs> a lot of people don't realize if you're Puerto Rican, you, that means you got a little brother mixed up. In yeah, you. yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> you can tell that with Joe, definitely. He's, he's got. There's certainly some black there, definitely. Oh, thanks, Trent. Uh, <laughs> well, just like me, you can't. Well, just like yeah. me, you can't tell there's any Puerto Rican in me. And my dad's hundred percent Puerto Rican, so yeah. <laughs> Do you know? Do you know? Can I make a point? I think all those color or way is how we best uh, politically correctly call someone in the general category without offending them too much. Like for example, if you call me yellow Canadian, I'm gonna be pissed off at you. So <laughs> how, what are you gonna call me? Chinese Canadian or the African American? See that that's better than seems to some people better than calling them black American, right? Because there, like once we refer to a skin color, like where do you stop and, and but that's fine. I mean, black is fine. Black is offensive. Is what? Well, try yellow Canadian to me. I'll be pissed. <laughs> <laughs> how 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 do you be color sensitive, right? But I, think, but I think it depends on 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 whether whether the group itself black black people. Now, remember, Jimmy, do you remember this? This is very interesting because, Jimmy, do you remember, because I think you may be old enough to remember, do you remember when the time in our history, and I want to say it was early 60s, that if somebody called you black, that was very offensive? Yeah. Yeah, because you want to be Negro. That's how you want to that be was Negro. very offensive. Black power. I, but actually, actually, back then, it was, it was also like black power, you know. So actually, it was, well, it, it, it was it, back, it back, back before. It sort of progressed to the mid, you know, by the time we got around to the mid 60s and late 60s, black was okay. Right, but the, the black power, 
It was not okay. It was very offensive in the 50s and the 60s. That was very well, offensive. Wasn't it right yeah, that yeah. Black Power was trying a way of trying to grab the the word black and then power add power to it? I think that so was get powered. away from the negative. But then you see there's a negative history on the word black, right? I mean, by calling someone well, it's black. It's kind of interesting how back in the 50s and the early 60s to be called black was considered offensive. It was mm -hmm. very, very offensive. And now, you know, a lot of people prefer to be called black. It's just kind of interesting how, and now Negro, which was considered to be the proper thing to call someone back then, is now considered offensive. Well, 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 wait a minute. Is it offensive or is it just the word outdated, well, some, not being some used? Some people consider it offensive. I mean, Still, some, I don't, just I don't like uh, trash, right? I don't yeah. find it offensive. I, if, yeah. if I, if I had to characterize what I thought it was, I would think probably just given the context of, of where we are in the 21st century, it's just outdated. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know. me too. I mean, it's not a word we commonly hear in discussion. I, you know, outdated. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> it's funny that, Jimmy. <laughs> but at the same time, you're still laughing at yellow Canadian. <laughs> <laughs> See, it, it, it's, it's funny because the yellow, the Can the Chinese Canadian, throw out the term yellow Canadian, right? Because but now, that but now, is going to take me you know, off. Like, <laughs> Don't call me yellow Canadian. That. You're offended by that, but if I call Trev white, he's not offended by that. It just depends on the group. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. I mean, you don't, yeah. You don't. You don't prefer Trev, for instance, to be called Caucasian, do you? Call me whatever you want. I don't mind. I really, I, it really does not. It, like Diano said about the um, the meaning of words, uh, that, that that kind of thing. You can call me anything. It wouldn't, it wouldn't matter to me at all. It's, now, I suppose because I'm not racist as well, though. So if you call me any race, it doesn't offend me because I don't think of any race less than the other. So yeah. whatever, call me anything. I don't mind. <laughs> yeah. Now, Joe, if you if someone calls you brown, would that offend you? No, it, it doesn't bother. I mean. I, I, it's, I'm just I don't go by color, so yeah, yeah. That, that's the other thing, right? It, going by color is already. No like, well, it's kind of interesting. We don't say brown Americans, do we? We don't say that. We don't, that's, why, that's why I said when we said nobody says, "Oh, you're African American, you're white American, you're Indian American." Nobody. We all we all came to America as um, we all broke into this country, you know. In a sense, you know, it's, mm -hmm. you know what I mean. So it's it's, it's not yeah, fair except, to say, except the indigenous people, yeah. yeah. You, you know, people who. But I remember in grade school when they gave out the colors to like we had like a little uh, Thanksgiving thing. We had a color, and they had a they gave us a, a black color, a brown. They gave us all these colors, and then I kept wondering, like, what are we gonna do with this yellow? And then and the the Chinese, even the Chinese kid in the class was like. Why am I yellow? And everybody kept looking at skin. That's when they <laughs> <laughs> like about skin color. Like the teacher just automatically assumed that the Chinese kid is going to be yellow. And then I think in school we learned all that. And that's where a lot of this, you know, this crap came about. Yeah, the this color stereotype of crap. Yeah. And and brown is actually used for uh, for for Mexicans here in L in L A. Oh, no, well, no, I don't know everywhere, but they say brown. You know, brown Americans. Whatever they uh, use that brown, for. Brown is is universally, I think, at least in the, well, I say universally. Keep 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 in mind, it's not universally. Uh, when I say here in the here in the United States, yeah, brown, I think, is typically associated with lat Latinos of of yeah, any that's what I thought, yeah. Of, yeah. of any of any origin. Doesn't yeah, matter. So I, I, if I was going to classify myself, I'd drop myself in the brown category probably because it's. I'm not. I mean, I am white, but I know I don't look it. Uh, and it's, yeah. Trev, you know what? Yeah, can you're I more of a pinkish brown. brown. Can I just yeah. say this, Trev? Can I just go on and, and you know put this out there because you here, know here this is kind of like the elephant in the room that nobody wants to talk about. You are not white, brother. <laughs> I am. Well, you know, it was funny. Trev and I actually had a long, in-depth conversation about his nationality and what he, and what he was because I look at him and I just thought, I don't see, I don't see. You know, like you said, he said I, he's I, milk I bottle white. I don't if, think, if you hadn't yeah. said anything. In fact, the first time I can I tell you the first time I even remember this is this is how traumatic it was for me. I even remember the first time I heard you refer to yourself as white, and I thought, really? Yeah, it denial. <laughs> I said, no, it was, we were having some discussion about religion. It was it was. Earlier on, I don't know, maybe a year ago. Oh, or so. I remember. You said, um, you said, you said, said, said I'm a white atheist. I'm a white atheist. Yeah. I, I wasn't blown away by the fact you said you were an atheist. I was blown away by the fact you said you were white. <laughs> <laughs> He's just trying to <laughs> Really, Tony? You know that. <laughs> oh, I didn't know you didn't white to me. 
Yeah, no, he does it. But no, I don't know. It's, let me tell you something. Let me, let, me, let me just say this. If Trev had come into the hangout and said he was black, I would have been much. I would have believed him a lot more readily <laughs> than him telling me he was white. I would have because we do come in all. You guys know. I mean, Joe, you can be dark compared to some black people, and even Kempton, you can be dark com compared to some black people I know. I mean, mm -hmm. I know some really, really, really white black people. Yeah, it's like it's like 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 my, my sister. My, 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 my sister is like <laughs> the most well, probably one of the most pale skinned persons I I know. Hmm. Yeah. My yes, mother in law, you can actually see through her. Is <laughs> <laughs> that a mother in law joke? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I don't know if anybody I don't know if anybody can pull it up, but if, if you can pull it up on the web, uh th there's a reporter, a Fox reporter, I love her. She's she's really a, a great reporter. Uh pull her up if you if you can. Her name is Jennifer Davis. Fo just put up pull up Fox correspondent Jennifer Davis and and pull up her picture. And tell me if you Can just you were to look, look at her, what you would think she was. I'm just curious. We have her on a lot. She, she oh, was... okay, yeah, I see her. She looks white. Okay. Can you guys share the picture? Can you oh, share I, the picture? Yeah. Can you share the picture, Diana? Yeah, stand by. Uh, let, me, let me pull up a good one. Uh, well, just to share the whole yeah. Yeah, all right. Here, I'm going to do a screen share. Stand by. Oh, okay. I just, I just had to find a good one. Because I'm just curious what everyone's perception is. And, Diana, you've already kind of given your opinion. Yeah, she definitely does that. What do you, what do you, what do you Get think? Get out of here. I've seen her before. She's. What do you think? I what thought she was what's... white, like Jewish or something. Yeah, she's yeah. black. She's black. Mm. With what? a lot of other mix. Uh... Say what? Yeah. <laughs> Jennifer Davis is black. Hello. A hundred percent black now. Well, n nobody, nobody. I'm not one hundred percent black. Nobody. Right. Yeah, no, and I'm, I'm, and I'm only half black technically, you know. So. Yeah. yeah. Nobody, yeah. Nobody. But, but see, that's the problem of calling someone by their race and whatnot. Like because we, we, I think in the long run, it would be so much better if we all blend in and and we can't tell. Like, you black? You Chinese? Well, no. I'm trying to do this and that. Yeah. Well, you know, whenever they show those movies of everybody waiting. Let me tell you, can I tell you something? Okay. Tell you something? Okay. As soon as I saw Jennifer Davis, and, and, and when you hear her report, she doesn't have anything that people consider to be the traditional black speak voice, you know, I mean, the, the, the stereotypical black voice or anything like that. Nothing, nothing gives her away. But when I first saw her, I immediately knew she was black. I just well, knew they say, well, they, well, they say we know our own, even, even if they don't look I like... Knew. Yeah. And so, and when I told someone else she was black, they said no way. So I went and looked up her bio because I just wanted to see. Yeah. And one, of the, and, okay. one of, and one, and one, and and I looked. I, I can't tell you now, but if you look up her bio, it'll tell you where she's from. I think the D.C. area. That was a clue. B. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the uh, Washington D.C. area. That was a clue. B. She's a member of the National Association of Black Journalists. That was my second clue. <laughs> that, that, that's a pretty significant <laughs> clue. <laughs> uh, but, but how did you spot her uh, right away? Like, is it the smell know. or the she, the way, the way she walk? Or I just, I just, just knew. I don't know how I knew. The spider sense. <laughs> yeah, Only I, spider I, sense. I, I just knew. Now, now before we before before we get too far along, because I know we're gonna, I, you know, this has been a, a to me a just a huge, hugely stimulating hangout because I just just yeah. I mean we don't usually yeah. get to, to discuss stuff like this, but yeah. uh, one of the uh, one of, one of, one of the biggest groups apparently offended by Seth MacFarlane's uh, performance uh, were a number of uh, were, were Jews, a number of Jewish groups, mm -hmm. uh, particularly the uh, Anti Defamation League. And, and the thing that they were most offended by was his whole discussion. There was there was a whole segment of the Oscars where he used the teddy bear from Ted, the movie Ted. <laughs> the one with uh, Matt Wahlberg. Yeah. yeah. So, he, so he used the. Uh, that looked that looked great, by the way. It looked so real on stage. It looked really real on stage too. Yeah, yeah. So I saw that segment. I mean, I, I don't remember being anti-Semitic. You guys, no, you, well, he said, he said about, he said, oh, you know, oh, uh, uh, I'm Jewish. Okay, my, last name, my last name is Berg. You, you, know, guys, you guys want to talk to Theo James? Yeah, sure. Yeah, any okay, guest. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah we can. Uh, what, yeah, you you he's, can he's, talk he's to. Gonna be, he's gonna be in a new series, Golden Boy, on CBS, and then he, I guess he was in Dalton Abbey. 
Dalton Abbey. Dalton Abbey. Dalton Abbey, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. Okay, what is so this? She's going to bring him again? over when he gets off the set. Um, can you tell us? Can, can you guys just get some questions together for him? Because, uh, yeah. well, what was his name again? Wait, can you what was his name again, Charlie? Can you type his name? T O. Can you type his name? T H E O. What do I type it? T O what? James. J A M E S. Theo, Theo James. You guys can look it up. Got it. Let's see how. Yeah, whoever got it, throw it out. James. Okay. Yeah, no. When he did, when Ted got up there with the teddy bear, he made a whole. He, he went really long on the fact that that uh, that his that, that Mark's last name was Wahlberg and and yeah, and, uh, and the Jews are yeah. in Hollywood. Basically, the theme was Jews are in charge of Hollywood. And if you want to get anywhere in Hollywood, you have to be Jewish. That exactly. Was the oh, that's the oldest joke, right? I mean, yeah. Yeah, yeah. and they that's should they should be over it by now. They should be over it by now. They should be over it by now. Yeah, that's one of the oldest jokes. The Jews are It's almost as old as Black people eat fried chicken. And so the right. teddy bear said that he was actually born Theodore Shapiro. <laughs> 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 and, and that he was actually Jewish and that he gives to Israel and he wants to continue to work in Hollywood as long as he can. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's funny. That's that, funny. A lot of people were really, a lot of Jewish organizations okay. were really offended by that. Yeah, well, that, that's almost, that's almost, that joke is almost as old as black people eat chicken. A fried chicken, you know. Yeah. You're always gonna, you're always gonna piss people off. Yeah. You're gonna be good. You're gonna piss chicken. people off. I know, and, 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 and a lot of Jewish people run Hollywood. Chicken and waffles, and I do eat fried chicken. Yeah, I do too, and and a lot of, <laughs> but, a lot of Jewish people run Hollywood. My, I mean, my guess is Joe would eat fried chicken, and Kempton would eat fried chicken, and 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 <laughs> Trump would eat fried chicken too. Yeah, yeah. I love yeah. fried chicken, and I don't. Yeah, like but, but, but you know the funny thing is like there's one stereotype that I just can't live up to. Watch this one. I hate watermelon. I, I do too. I, I do too. Buys watermelon. I, I do too. I can't I stand it. But but I do love chitlins. <laughs> I do too. Oh, I just <laughs> throw up in my mouth a little bit, man. I hate everything about chitlins. I hate the way they look. I hate the way they smell when you're cooking them. I hate the way they look in the pot. I oh god, man. I re I remember one time my grandma was in the house was making chitlins. Me, my dad, and, and my brother we went to an Armley surplus store and bought gas masks, and we came back home and we were we would wear them all the time. While she was thinking, she got so mad at us. <laughs> well, you know, now here's the thing. Um, one of the points that oh, we... <laughs> this is funny. <laughs> what are you doing, Jimmy? What are you doing? Because, exactly. Because See, that, is, that, that is my chitlin cooking. Because it's you have to understand. <laughs> Know anything about chitlins? When you cook chitlins, they are the worst smelling food on the planet. Yeah, except and how does except that sound? Broccoli. It's like I mean, it's like it's like because it's like my grandmother and, and even my girlfriend try to argue with me about you know the cultural significance of chitlins. You know, back in the day, the black people didn't have much we had to make do. It's like I get all that. Like these days, if I get hungry, I'm calling Domino's. I'm going to make the things. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like, I mean, Forget I get this about those historical things don't apply anymore. I ain't got to eat the intestines yeah. of a pig. I'm not good. Hey, hey, broccoli's really funky, Joe, too. Joe, don't you laugh too hard, because I know you eat menudo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, isn't, isn't menudo basically the same thing? It's basically the same thing, yeah. yeah well, broccoli's really funky, too, so you got to, you gotta, you know. Yeah. But at least broccoli doesn't smell when you cook it. Exactly, Bro broccoli smells good. Broccoli tastes good. Chitlins. Oh, no, I love broccoli. There is no, there is no aspect of chitlins which sounds appealing whatsoever. Now, yeah, when you take the intestines of a pig and then you have you clean the excrement out of them, you got to get all all that nasty waste from the pig. No, no, but did you did, did you deep fry it though? Did you deep fry it though? Is it deep fried? That's only Chinese people. Ah, see, deep fried, and <laughs> like with a little bit of shit. You think that would be black people too? It's like we we love deep fried things, <laughs> but deep fried intestine. <laughs> Has anyone had deep fried turkey? Because I hear it's good, and I haven't had it. I have had it, and I'm actually going to have a go at it this year to see if I can do it myself. Oh, yeah, yeah. be it careful. Could be dangerous. Right? Be careful. You don't want to. Like, uh, well, you don't want to blow yeah, up your house. Huge... Oh yeah. Do it outside. They say okay. during that time. They're just during that time of the year. It's uh, it's like the the biggest thing that people get injured uh, doing is, is, is deep frying turkey. But he has a New York accent. Huh? In the in the show. In the show, yes. really? He's good. Okay. I do like beef tongue though. He sings as well. Okay. 
you know, you guys, uh, uh, with with Theo, Theo James, a couple of things you should know. <laughs> one, of the, one of the things you should know is he's here right now. Oh, okay. That, that, that's an important fact. Is it meeting you? Seriously, Jimmy, that's always been my argument against eating time. Do you know anything about the Google Plus? Yeah, though. I don't, to be honest, but I'm intrigued. Well, I'll tell you about it. Uh, it, it is, um, it is, it's basically uh, an opportunity to talk to people from around the world. Cool. Nice. And, um, you know, we, we can only have so many people in our Google Plus Hangout right now. You can see the people who are participating, and I'm going to introduce you to all of them. <laughs> but on our YouTube channel, you, you, you're talking hundreds of millions of people who can tune in to. So you got any number of people who are watching it. Any right, 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 right. So, uh, I am happy to uh, introduce, first of all, let me say I'm Tony Miki in the Fox 11 Newsroom, and I have the pleasure of having with me Theo James here, hey, hey. who is, Siri by, series, by the way, his uh, his show, Golden Boy, starts tonight, is that right? Tonight, 10 p.m. Yes. With, with Chai McBride? Mm -hmm. Chai McBride, yeah. Oh, I like him, yeah. All right, yeah, so uh, let me introduce yeah. you to the people in the Hangout, and then we will, uh, we'll talk about uh, the show, and then, of course, they'll have questions for you. This is Diano Jackson. Diano is in up, Reno. Uh, Jimmy is here in Los Angeles, basically hey, right up the street. Uh, he tried to come in hey. to, to meet personally, but we, we barred him. Um, <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> we have Joe. Joe, I don't know, because I never know when you're in Hawaii or where are you right now? Las Vegas right now. Okay, right Vegas. now you're in Las Vegas. Yeah, okay. Kempton is in Calgary, Canada. Hi, Theo. And Treb is in the UK. Oh, representing. <laughs> and and, since, and so why don't we just start there? Because you, you're, are you part British? Is that it? Is that? I'm British. Yeah, yeah. You're British. I'm from. Um, what's, what's kind of your ethnic mix? Because we, we're all like high fifty seven. Yes, you're right. You're right. I am <laughs> Greek, and my dad's from New Zealand, and I'm Scottish. Can you do all of those accents? Uh, How's your British accent, Trev? I want you to sit in judgment. Yeah. My <laughs> Fraudulent. I just do it to try and pull checks, but no. What about your New York accent? Because that's the accent you use in the show. Yeah, right? yeah. I had to do a lot of work. I had to make sure that it was um, like a second, uh, a second language, or not language, but a second uh, narrative in my in my head. Because otherwise, if you're thinking about the technicalities okay. of it, it's going to become a problem. Can I just say this, Theo? I was born and raised here in the United States. I grew up in Chicago, and I can't do a New York accent. <laughs> if that was an example of it, you're right. I can't. I really, really can't. I was born in New York, and I don't have a New York accent. So New York accent. Come on, say something. I'm well, lying from winning it. The problem is uh, what I wanted to do with the accent was make it not so strong that uh, it was uh, a kind of New York ripoff. It needed to be something that was... Uh, a bit in between because he's a guy that is trying to distance himself from his background. So, so he's kind of cleaning his accent up, and even though he's from Queens, he's kind of middling in his in his uh, accent range. And that's a good jumping off point to talk about. That's pretty good. That's, 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 that was really good. Yeah, I'm, from, I'm from New York, and I don't even do a New York accent. So. Yes. <laughs> what is Golden Boy about? First of all, I, you know, you know. The mix of you and, and Chai McBride, that's an interesting, mm. intriguing mix. Fascinating, to be honest with you. Yeah, yeah. He, well, someone said yesterday, and I kind of like this because I love the movies, but they said they saw a bit of, uh, a little bit of Lethal Weapon in it, which, which is kind of cool because mm -hmm. I, I love those movies. Oh, that's, that's and, I, and I like that dynamic. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but it's a bit different. In, they Basically, it's about the rise of, of a young guy from, from nothing to, to being extremely powerful. And along the way, he has this kind of father-son relationship with Shy, and that's really the, 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 the crux of the, the show, is this everything that he loses along the way and the relationship that he has with his father, because he's never had a father because his father was in the mob. Uh, it was very corrupt and abusive. So. Now, we've seen you in other things as, 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 as well, which are, you know, are very popular, but what I think a lot of people may not know about you is that you also sing. That's what I hear. I do. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I do. I have to haven't found the other form stuff on it as well. That'd be probably a joke, joke. Um, but yeah, I sing, I sing, and I've done it for years. Actually, singing. is that how you started, or is, is, is um, no? I, I I wanted to pursue that, and then I I was in various. Uh, kind of incarnation band wise, some of them good, some of them not so good. Um, and it was a kind of crossroads and I decided to pursue the acting. I, I don't know if I would have been able to do it professionally 
Probably not. Um, yeah. But I still do it for fun now. So. Can right, I ask a question? Yeah, yeah. Sure. let's tempt him. Go ahead. Yeah. So Theo, um, I understand if I if my research is right, your television debut is uh, in a passionate whim woman starring yeah. opposite uh, Billy Piper, which is one of my favorite actresses. Uh, uh, really? I, I love her since her days in uh, Doctor Who. So mm -hmm. what was it like uh, working with uh, Billy, and what was it like uh, having that as your television debut? It was really good, actually. It was a really cool um, drama. It was a, it was a kind of it was a romance. Um, so we had there's quite a lot of intense. Sex scenes, which was for a first job, was kind of uh, daunting. But <laughs> Pretty nice, <laughs> with Billy. Yeah. in a good way. Uh, but she, and I was lucky with her because she was very cool, and we had a really good relationship. She's a lot of fun. She doesn't take herself too seriously. She loves messing around, and we love playing pranks with each other. So it was a really cool first first job, actually. Mm -hmm. Right on. <laughs> It's like talking more about about this current project. It's like I mean, it's honestly the first that I'm hearing about Golden Boy personally. It's like, and it seems like uh, very interesting. Uh, it's like I mean, are, are, are all this like because I see six episodes on Antenna right now. It's like, have, have those all been filmed yet? Yeah, we we it was a mid season pickup, so we did thirteen and we filmed them between it was the summer and then we just finished at the beginning of January. So uh, okay. Yeah. So what was your most exciting aspect of of, of working on this show? Um, you, I just actually filming outside in New York. We had some uh, basically. There's a quite a lot of action in it, so being able to have replica guns, loads of police technical advisors, and be running through the streets and shooting guns, and <laughs> <laughs> you know, doing the action stuff was probably was probably the the best, the kind of most fun stuff. But we were also really lucky with the cast because you know Bonnie Somerville's in it, um, Kevin Alejandro. Holt McCallany and they're all and Stella Maven, they're all really great actors and we happened to really hit it off. So we ended up hanging out a lot and going out a lot and having drinks together and you know becoming really good friends. So that was pretty cool as well. Go ahead, uh, Jimmy. It's okay. Well, I, well, obviously you've had a lot of work, a lot of practice working with guns and what have you. So that's pretty cool. Uh, what was it like working on Underworld Awakening with Kate, with Kate Beckinsale? <laughs> that was uh -huh. you no know woman. That was a, she, she. She's a bit like. Uh, you know, Kenton was talking about Billy Piper. She, she is, she's really. She, I was lucky because she's really fun, and she really doesn't take herself seriously either. And she has a very kind of uh, fun, dirty sense of humor. So, you know, because when you do when you, when you something like Underworld, you know, it is it's about vampires and and a lot of blood and violence. So, it, you know. It, it's good to be able to have fun with the lightness of it and kind of mess around and play, right. play practical jokes on each other. So I have to follow. First, I think she's a bit mental. You know, you know what, man? She really was really cool, honestly. I and uh, oh, but mental in a good way. I mean, like one of these crazy birds that you get that. Um, that yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Like, she, yeah, she, I mean, she was. She's just fun, really, she, and she she doesn't right. she doesn't care too much about um, kind of the Hollywood. Cliches so much that she doesn't. She doesn't. She doesn't worry about offending people in a fun way. You know what I mean? Right. Mm. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, something like that. I mean, obviously, I don't know the last bit. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You, you, and you mentioned dirty jokes or dirty humor. What? What? You you can't leave it at that. What, what kind of examples uh, are we talking about? <laughs> leave it to Kevin. <laughs> <Captain. laughs> to be honest, I can't remember because it's so longer. But um, we had a we had a we had a practical joke. There was a mannequin, I think. I mean, there was a mannequin in my body, and we uh, we like we put it in random positions because it was. Uh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, thank you. That that made up my day. <laughs> but I have a serious question uh, on the new series. Uh, so you play a young rising young per, young the youngest rising uh, uh, police commissioner. What type? Uh, who who was your role model? Did you have uh, like a commissioner that you were working against, or you working pretty much off script? Exactly, that was written. Uh, I read a lot okay, okay. of biographies, but Bernie Kerrick, because he obviously uh, is was, was you know he's in jail. Uh, and <laughs> there's a line in the show where it says one of the guys says you're either going places or you're going to jail. To the, to his younger to this to the younger Walter Clark, because you know flashes forward to him being the commissioner seven years later. So he, I wanted someone, a model of someone who kind of was on the boundaries of. The law and what is unlawful, you know, what's corrupt and what's not corrupt. Mm. All right, go cool. ahead, Trev. You had a question? Yeah, I'm gonna say how. Uh, it's difficult to, to know how to word it, but um, being English, getting a part as an American, I presume the word Americans are meant for that role as well. Um, mm. 
how does that work? How, I mean, I get, clearly you can do you can do a good uh, a convincing New York accent, but um, I mean, it's difficult yeah. to put what I want to say into a question. Um, no, uh, I think I know what you mean. Um, <laughs> I, think, uh, I, th I think they had, um, you know, I think now with the ability to be able to send tapes, basically, and the, the way the way it used to work is you'd have to be in LA, and it was very mm. kind of American centric. But now you can send tapes. Uh, within you know 30 seconds of making it so the the casting process there they they can basically see much more in terms of talent from anywhere whether it's australia uh, mm -hmm. england you know, new zealand or whatever and as a result the they, the, the disparity between american and non-american kind of gets blurred because it's just a bunch of actors if that makes sense. Yeah. so the talent just becomes talent at that point yeah kind of yeah exactly i mean yeah. i mean there are some things which obviously I'm sure is better if, if, you know, an American has, Americans are an American, so they have more experience to, 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 to draw from. But at the same time, I suppose the, the, your, your job as an actor is to kind of possess whatever you're doing in, in the fullest capacity that you can. Do we have one more question, or should we wrap it up? I, I can have the Kempton okay. question. So, so, Theo, so Theo, given your singing talent and whatnot, and the popularity of uh, Les Mis, would if there's uh, another film like that, live recording singing, and whatnot, would you be interested in uh, uh, doing a film like that? Uh, yeah, man. I mean, that was a great movie. I mean, it must be pretty daunting to sing straight to camera for. Yeah. You know, that must be pretty hardcore. <laughs> uh, I think I'd have to have some. Practice because at the moment I'd be shit, but uh, basically, live. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. They, they recorded every take live, and uh, yeah, no, uh, yeah, and but you I would think, love to, you're right? It, it kind of added, it really did add something unique to the performances because it was right there. I don't know, you can kind of imbue something a bit more, a bit more intense via that kind of process, you know. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. well, Theo, thanks so much. Really thanks a lot, Theo. Yeah. Oh, thank you very much, Theo. It's been yeah. 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 great. Just look right into the camera. There we go. Awesome. Thanks a lot. Thanks, Leo. Yeah, thanks thanks great, a lot for joining us, Dale. Can't wait to see the show tonight. Awesome. It's on CBS. What yeah. time? Yeah, quick. Yeah. Ten o'clock. Ten o'clock. Yeah. Uh, cool. I'll have to go ahead and check it out. It's like yeah. it seems interesting. Yeah, nice it's interesting. Yeah, yeah. Nice yeah. setup and uh, yeah, pretty cool. Yeah. Well, mm -hmm. and you know what? That that pretty much brings us to um to as much time as we have for my very first all alone hangout. Yeah. Yay, Tony started everything. Yay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And you know what? That guy showed up. Even even those who couldn't stick around, I, I really appreciate Kim showing up and Kyle showing up and uh, you know, I mean it was just it was just really nice. And we had, I mean I, I thought it was good. We had a good time, you know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah it was a good yeah, time. Right it's, it's like it's like it's like even if Theo wouldn't have showed up, it's like I mean it's like I just like, you know, hanging with you and everyone every time. I appreciate like, it. I mean, that's how we roll. Yeah, yeah. And make sure this this interview get on to the Fox Airways site because that's your credit. You uh, started the whole hangout, <laughs> you you wrote like, everything. You he, are the man. We, we gotta work this one step at a time. It's like he he did the hangout <laughs> but not We'll leave the editing and whatnot. No, no, no. When you get get Shaka. I mean, I don't mean. Well, obviously. Hey, hey, yeah, no. I'm not asking Tony Baby to do this. Baby steps. I, I'm asking Tony to tell someone to do it. Next, you know, we have we have Tony behind the camera for for Fox LA, or Fox uh, LA over there. The breaking well, news. Let me just say this. Next time you want to worry about me sending out an SOS before I start a hangout. I mean. You know, I won't. I won't be screaming at you guys. Say, help me! I'm sinking. You know, so, uh, <laughs> you, you know how to do it. Yeah, I, I know how to do that. I, well sort, to, sir. So, Sh Shaka and or 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 uh, Maria, they they're gonna have to give me the password or whatever it is that I need. Yeah, to, uh, yeah, and then yeah, you 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 ready to our, our YouTube channel. <laughs> right. right now, yeah. it's just on mine, which I'm perfectly fine with. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, thanks All a lot. Right, cool. yeah. Maria may be back tomorrow if she's yeah, not. I hope so. Uh, yeah, it's not feeling well, and uh, I hope she and Gus feel better. Tomorrow, but if she isn't, guess who you'll get again? It'll be me. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Have a great day. Yeah. Nice work. See you guys. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye.